by Saturday night, Francis Ngannou went out there, shocked the world, shocked me, shocked all the boxing community, every pundit, every analyst, everyone that tuned in and watched that fight. Francis Ngannou proved them all wrong. More importantly, he proved the Gypsy King wrong. Tyson Fury, Tyson said he could go out there, he could have 25 pints of beer and still beat Francis Ngannou in a fight. Listen, technically he beat him, but hey, Francis might have lost, but he won the war in many ways. He went out there and proved that he is legit. So there's a lot of options for Francis Ngannou right now. Let's be honest, every boxing promoter on planet Earth, they're all going to want to sign Francis Ngannou. Eddie Hearn was saying they might do Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou for Rumble in the Jungle 2. And I, for one, would like to see that, okay? I would like to see Francis Ngannou versus Tyson Fury 2, but we're not going to get to see that just yet. I think down the line we will see that because Tyson Fury needs to try and get that one back. He needs to solidify that victory. He needs to show that that was just a bad night at the office. Or maybe it was a great night at the office for Francis Ngannou. And then when we touch gloves, I'm like, let me take you to school. I'm like, you motherfucker, you are not taking me to school. That's why like, when I knock him out down, I was dancing in front like, how is that school going? <laughs> Who is taking Wu to school? But regardless, we're not going to get to see that because Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk, that's going to go down, not on December 23rd. And we don't think that the WBC will strip Tyson Fury either. There's just too much money involved in that fight. WBC are not going to walk away from that. So just sometime March, April, that fight will happen. So what is Francis Ngannou going to do? Well, he's going to fight in the PFL. He's going to fight in mixed martial arts. His bread and butter and the sport in which he crafted his name. How we all know the name Francis Ngannou. Now, who's he going to fight in the PFL, right? Their heavyweight roster is pretty thin. It's pretty slim. I've had a look at it. I didn't know anyone on there other than a couple of former UFC heavyweights, people like Maurice Green, the crochet boss, okay? No one cares. That ain't going to be the matchup. That is not going to be it. That's not going to sell the tickets. That's not going to generate the revenue for the massive price tag that Francis Ngannou is going to demand and that he's going to get paid, right? And rightly so, good for him. Who's he going to be? We'll step aside all you mixed martial artists because in comes Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder with a record of 43 and two in boxing and those two losses coming to the one and only Gypsy King. He went to a draw the first time. The next two he was stopped in round seven and in round 11, okay? He was knocked out. Now, he's not a he's not a mixed martial artist, but Francis Ngannou just went from MMA over to boxing and did well. So why can't Deontay Wilder go from boxing to mixed martial arts and do well? Because it doesn't work like that. It's as simple as that. Listen, part of mixed martial arts, I don't need to tell you, it's boring, but just real quick. Part of mixed martial arts, we use our hands. It's a big, big weapon. It's it's a big part of mixed martial arts. In boxing, they don't use anything else other than hands. They don't wrestle. They don't kick. They don't clinch. They don't do jiu-jitsu, okay? They don't do ground and pound. And as I said at the beginning, they don't wrestle. And that's the big one. Deontay Wilder, God bless him, he's an incredibly hard puncher. He's a gifted athlete. He can hit hard as hell, okay? But his legs are stick thin. Relevance of that? not the strongest lower posterior chain, okay? The legs are an important part of stopping a takedown. The legs and the hips, you need strong hips. He better be deadlifting like a motherfucker, right? Because Francis Ngannou is way heavier. Deontay Wilder, coming over to mixed martial arts, he better be thinking about 205, the light heavyweight division. He looks like he could probably make 185. If Alex Pereira can, if Israel Adesanya can, then Deontay Wilder probably can. But according to Don Davis, the founder, the owner, whatever he is of the PFL, that is the fight that they're trying to make. Recently, I partnered with a company called Legacy Precious Metals. Now, I know a lot of people are going through tough times right now, but if you are fortunate enough to where you have a few dollars left over every month to think about investing, then maybe investing in gold and silver through Legacy Precious Metals might be for you. Now, the stock market, if you follow that stuff, it's all over the place. In fact, it's plummeting right now. But Precious Metals, they've always held their value or even increased. So, of course, that's something that we're all interested in. Does it have to be a lot of money? It could just be a little little bit because it all adds up over time. Now, if you click the link, there is a guide there. It'll tell you all about investing in gold and silver, or you can give them a call and they will answer all of your questions at 866 933 0317.
Deontay Wilder has been training for seven months. God bless him. I respect him. That's a big challenge. Francis Ngannou just weighed over 270 pounds against Tyson Fury, right? Deontay, even at his heaviest, will walk him 215. 220. That's too light. Yes, he's fast. Yes, he can hit. But Francis Ngannou can wrestle. Look at what he did against Cyril Ghosn, right? He out wrestled the kickboxer. Cyril Ghosn's a great striker, a great kickboxer. And for Francis to beat him, he had to go to the wrestling. If he can take down Cyril Ghosn, right, a man that has won several fights via heel hook and various submissions, then he can take down Deontay Wilder. And I don't care if he's wrestling with DC, Bo Nickel. I don't care who the coaches are. You can bring in the AI version, the chat GBT of mixed martial arts coaches. It ain't going to matter because it takes years and years to learn. So Deontay Wilder versus Francis Ngannou, that will sell tickets, but it will not last long. In the fight on Saturday, Tyson Fury went out there against Francis Ngannou and tried to finish him right in the opening round. Went out, tried to throw a quick one, two, thought he'd knock him out and that would be it. But it wasn't. And we saw what happened. It went to a decision. Great fight. But the opposite will happen in mixed martial arts. Francis Ngannou will go out there he will shoot, he will clinch, he will grab a hold of Deontay Wilder. He will pick him up above his head. He can throw him out of the ring if he wanted to. He'll pick him up, he'll put him in his pocket, he'll walk around, he'll have a conversation with everyone on the front row and then just have a think about what he's going to do next to Deontay Wilder. Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, clinch work, takedown defense, getting back to your feet, understanding knees, elbows, checking kicks, seven months... That's insane. Listen, Deontay is a great guy and he's had some great knockouts. I mean, what a career. 43 and 2 with 42 knockouts. I mean, that's wild. He's got great power, but he's also got great excuses. Think about this. The second time he fought Tyson Fury, he walked out in that like robot outfit and he said that the robot outfit tired out his legs. It was too heavy. So he tied him out. If the robot outfit tied out his legs, Think what Francis Ngannou would do to him. Now, I'm not ripping on Deontay Wilder. He's a, he's a very, very exciting boxer, okay? And I've enjoyed watching many of his fights. And he got back to winning ways over Robert Hellenius, knocked him out in the first round. He still got it, right? But you ain't going to come over to mixed martial arts just like that and take out Francis Ngannou, a former UFC heavyweight champion of the world. They're trying to give him good matchups. They're trying to sell it. They're trying to get Francis Ngannou to have a sexy fight in the PFL, but none of the roster are going to do it. So they're bringing in Deontay Wilder. I will say fair play to Deontay Wilder. Fair play for wanting to test himself. Tyson Fury isn't going to fight him in mixed martial arts. No boxer is going to come over to mixed martial arts and fight somebody like Francis Ngannou. No boxer is going to come and fight somebody like an Islam Makachev, a Michael Chandler, right? A Yuri Prohaska, an Anthony Smith, a former Michael Bisping. None of them. So fair play. If Deontay Wilder does this, he will have my respect. But that fight will end in round one in the most devastating fashion. Still... Let's see if it materializes. Thanks for watching, subscribe, ring the bell. See you soon.